Assalamualaikum sahabat Arsi Islami. And I'm a 15, I'm a sophomore in high school. I go to Trinity. Maybe this is a Christian guy who believes in Trinity and takes Jesus as Lord and Savior. Do you? No, sir. So I found out that alhamdulillah, our brother Sam, he is a revert to Islam, he converted to Islam. And uh, somebody forced you, correct? No. Nobody forced you. Mashallah, of your own choice. Huh? Of course, no, of course. Alhamdulillah. So why don't you mention briefly your story, I mean, who introduced Islam to you? And uh, what, what teachings of Islam attracted you? That of your own choice you studied and then you became a Muslim. You know, the media is always demonizing Islam, you know, terrorism, 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 terrorism. All they show is like, it's like, you know, terrorism. Uh, and my parents, they're always pretty cool about it. And, you know, they said, you know, this is not really, really Islam, all right? Uh, and so I, I, was, I was reading about it online and I had a friend, uh, alhamdulillah, really still my best friend to this day. And I started off sort of mocking him and, you know, like, you know, bomb, you uh, like, you know, I mean, I wasn't like trying to like actually, I didn't like actually hate Islam. I was just being kind of a scumbag. I was like, you know, oh, you know, bombs, you know, flying carpet, stuff like that. And, um, but I asked questions, you know, he answered them and there were good answers. And uh, I admired like, because, uh, the main pull factor, one of the main pull factors was like the discipline uh, that Islam had uh, because I was, I was pretty... What is the example of that? Um, that you have, you, you know, really modest, you have to like, carry yourself good uh, and I'm not saying that I like, dude, I'm not a, obviously not a perfect person, I have some, but I just admire that, I admire that part that brought me in and uh, just, you know, respect and of course submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and um, that, that, was, that was some of the main pull factors, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, when I met Sam and he introduced himself, he was wearing the full toe, by the way, right? And the turban, the toe you have in the backpack. But Alhamdulillah, you introduced yourself, that of your own choice. You know, what important lesson, Sam, that I can learn from that encounter with uh, your Muslim friend, Ali, is that Muslims, we have to practice and we have to be a good example for our fellow Americans and people of humanity. Yes, we can teach and we can preach and give them a choice, but we have to practice that. And I believe your friend Ali has done a good job. I hope so, right? Of course, yeah. Yes. And second important thing is uh, we need to have the knowledge to correct the people. If people think that, you know, Muslims are extremists and terrorists and threat to society, I think Ali did a good job, your friend, to introduce to you what Islam is and what Islam is not. Yeah. It's a good lesson for the youth and all the Muslims. So I want to ask you this question. What about your parents? How, what was the reaction once they found out that, you know, my son, Sam, converted to Islam. What was the reaction? Um, I think that it's actually pretty unique. My parents, they were actually really, they were pretty tolerant about it um, because they, they weren't like, you know, they're not like strong. They're, they're raised Christian, but I guess like they're sort of like agnostic and deist. Um, and so, you know, they, they, they were, they're supportive. Um, and ma mashallah, they're so, they're really good about it. And it, they just don't, they just don't want me to like, uh, and it's, this is kind of understandable. They just don't want me to, um, to like try to make it a big a part of their lives like they, so you know this yeah yeah but you know brother sam uh, you have two obligations i mean there are so many obligations two obligations first obligation is to share the message of islam with your parents yeah, yeah. you know you want to go to paradise i want to go to paradise all of us but we also want our parents to be there yeah, don't you of course, yeah. so it's really important that by your good words good actions becoming the best son anyone can ever have that would be one of the ways to lead them towards the truth of Islam and the guidance of the Quran. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Of course, yes. That's what I'm saying. Second obligation that you have is to make sure that if you have siblings, yeah, yeah. if you have brothers and sisters, you may have, uh, you know, your friends, non-Muslim friends, you're going to a Trinity school, yeah. basketball team, right? Uh, that was not a basketball team, but uh, this, I think it's like a uh, either intramural thing or some, like we okay. went to Egypt State. And, uh, I see. Yeah. So one big lesson I want you, Sam to share with all of us would be, you know, nowadays in the 21st century, it may be so in all the centuries, youth may have so many temptations, so many problems, so many distractions in this world. And look at you, mashallah, good example. I mean, may Allah make all of us better. I mean, right? But what message that you have, one, to the Muslim youth, second, to the non-Muslims who may be listening out here? Um, my advice to the, to the Muslim youth and non-Muslims is to uh, not just not just sort of just go through the motions of life, you know, like actually, you know, especially for the Muslim youth, you have to, you, you are a Muslim, right? You've been blessed that you, you were born a Muslim. So you have all the tools that you, that you like, that you need to succeed. You, cause you, you know, your parents will be behind you if, if you're being raised Muslim. So take advantage of that and uh, use and, and 
and and go into the religion. You know, learn about the religion. Make it a part of your life. You don't. You, you can't just say, you know, I'm a Muslim, and and, and then just go go to the masjid because your parents tell you to pray because your parents tell you to. You have to. You have to. You have to make you. You have to be your own Muslim. You can't just be some. Just go through the motions. All right. You have to just look. Actually, look into Islam. Read about Islam, and it'll bring you closer to Allah. And what advice that you have for our non-Muslim brothers and sisters who may be thinking Muslims are threat? Um, what would you say to them? Just don't believe the mainstream media because these these reporters they're not they're not Islamic scholars they're not ulama. So, what my advice to them would be to to actually if if they wanna if they wanna actually you know find truth, uh, then 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 actually then learn about Islam. Don't just don't just take it it, it uh, face value from what the media says. Excellent advice. So learn Islam not from the Fox, the CNN, the fake news, the White House, but from the Quran and the last Prophet. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You know, when I listen to the, your advice, uh, you said you are what? 50 years of age? 15. Oh, 15. Yes. Mashallah, your advice is as if you are like a wise 50-year-old person. Mashallah. May Allah keep you guided. May Allah give hidayah, guidance to your parents, to all of humanity. And may Allah keep you blessed and all of us blessed. Man, wonderful. Congratulations. Welcome to Islam Brand. Saudaraku, sampai di sini ulasan videonya. Semoga bermanfaat. Sampai bertemu di ulasan video selanjutnya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.